This is the Helios 44-2 58mm lens rehoused by Retro Photo House out in Ukraine. And this thing is a beauty. 95 millimeter front, PL mount. For reference, this is another PL mount lens, another Helios. And you can tell the focus is here. So if you wanted to shoot that on set with an AC, AKA a focus puller or anyone on set that would, you know, help you assemble the camera. This is just geared toward filmmaking as opposed to a photography lens that is built for photography and then had an added mount on the bottom. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be testing this lens out by the time this review video is out then the footage will be there and then i'll be able to talk to you from the future so yeah i'm actually gonna swap this lens out for the lens that's on here and kind of get a feel of what this looks like so this is the 44 2 on the Sony FX3. I had this lens on there, which was a 20 millimeter and black satin. So this is the look. The focus throw is pretty thick. I know this one is pretty short. The one that's on that lens, the retro photo house one, this one, boom, is I want to say 300 degrees. So if you're, you know, on set, you're a DP, you have AC, they're pulling focus, it's perfect for that. Whereas something like this is good for a single operator to just hop in and hop out. So I don't think I would necessarily get rid of this one now that I have that one. But yeah, I'm gonna do a series of tests. I'll be right back in the future. I figure I'd come back to talk about the 58 again. I used it on the job and yeah, it did really well. I was very surprised. Don't mind my hands, they're ashy because it's mad cold outside. But I do love just being outside during sunset. It kind of grounds me. So yeah, this is me from the future. This uh, retro photo house 58. I do have some footage, so I'll share that. And yeah, this thing is, this thing is a beast, man. I am very impressed, very impressed by this thing, for sure. Very impressed. So yeah, that's all I got. Train is coming, so sound is gonna be trippy. Holding it right, and it's auto focus too, so you don't have to worry about that. The next one we want to talk about is this one. Now this is small, but it's mighty, right? So we have the, um, it is the, um, the Le Charter X57. And so this one is a, I believe it's a 30 millimeter. And so even though it's small, it's really, you get the really nice tight shots. Um, so that helps a lot when you're doing like straight to camera or when you're doing docs, um, that really helps with the um, the frame. And this is also autofocus. Uh, I'm sorry, correction, this is not autofocus. Um, the one way you can tell what autofocus is versus not autofocus, is you, if you look around the rim and you see there's little bridges, and that means it's not 